Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. This video is sort of like a part two from my previous video where I revealed and shared my Hermes Trio envelope set. <clears throat> Uh, take a look at that video if you haven't seen it. I'm trying to keep my sh videos um, a little bit shorter so it's just easier and quicker to watch and digest. So hopefully you will appreciate that. It will make it easier for me to film as well. Um, so I wanted to do this as a part two of the video to show what fits in these pouches. And I scattered a bunch of things that I normally carry on a somewhat day-to-day -day basis. Depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing, of course. Uh, but I wanted to show what fits and the, the potential use of it. So I showed in my last video, I typically use this flat um, envelope style, very slim in profile uh, card, um, sorry, pouch from my Chanel vintage camera bag. So inside, like I said last time, I have some cash and various credit cards, which I don't use as often, but I still need to carry. It could be club cards or insurance cards, things that I still need with me in case I need to use it, but I don't use it on like a regular basis. Like if I'm going grocery shopping or um, just going out and running errands, buying food or takeout, I would have my um, core three to four credit cards along with my driver's license and you know registration information in a smaller card holder which I typically use my Chanel card holder for. So this can show can be used as sort of like a replacement of this pouch because I want to keep this in pristine condition. I wouldn't use the bigger envelope because you can see that it is quite a bit bigger the, this outer pink envelope is more of like a clutch that I would use as like a date night sort of bag or even if, even if I'm going to a wedding, you know, it depends on the setting. So I'll leave that aside for now, but I can also show you what fits. Um, so I would probably rotate between these two pouches, which are a little bit smaller. Uh, just do a quick size comparison for you. This is um, a little bit shorter, uh, sorry, a little bit um, <clears throat> smaller in length, but the height of the, the black uh, Chanel pouch compared to the blue pouch is a little bit taller for the blue one. And if I pop in the yellow one, it is also a little bit taller than the Chanel one because it has a zipper and it's just maybe a couple of centimeters higher, taller, but in terms of the length, it is um, <clears throat> obviously not as uh, wide as the, the Chanel pouch. Sorry, I'm losing my words today. <clears throat> so anyway, typically I would have a lot of these items in my mini pochette, which I've emptied out just to show you uh, this mini pochette and maybe do a quick size comparison. So I would say the yellow pouch is most comparable in terms of the size. I'll put this behind. So you can see it, it does it is pretty similar in terms of the size. However, of course, you know, this is very slim. This is not. So you can definitely fit a lot more in this pouch. I could probably fit everything in, in of, on this table in this pouch, uh, but I wanted to show you just a quick comparison so you know. If you compare it with the blue one, of course, the blue one is bigger, but again, it's slimmer in profile and it would I would think the, the mini pochette fits more. But this is just an alternative uh, to me for this um, envelope pouch. <clears throat> okay, so let's get into what can fit. Um, with the situation we're all in these days, I carry around these wipes to clean my kids' glasses, and I've recently used it to have them clean their phones or my phones. So these are like alcohol wipes that... I just carry a bunch when we go out. Um, when they touch a lot of things, they always carry their phone and they're always playing on the phone. So I have them sort of take these and clean it off, like the screens and everything, just for peace of mind. I don't know if it really does a whole lot of good, but it's better than nothing. So these can fit very nicely in the front like this. <clears throat> these two are same in size. And of course it can fit here too. It will fit here as well. Um, 
same way. And this is a lot wider, so I can probably fit like two like this. And I will just grab one here. It will, it will fit nicely here and it goes deeper. So you can even hide it. So that's an option. Um, I can also fit, so here I have 10 credit card like, um, credit card sized cards. Of course, for um, personal information protection, I, I don't take my credit cards out here to show you, but it's like similar, same size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll notice these cards come from those uh, those games. Uh, my kids loved going to Dave and Buster's, so they, they collect a lot of these things. So I just thought it would be nice to show this. Um, I also have some gift cards, you know, Apple gift cards come in like this, but of course, if you open this up, um, you can take the card out, but just to show you what can fit as well. <clears throat> so let's start with the smaller one and then we'll work our way up to the blue one and then to the pink one. <clears throat> so I showed you that the wipes fit. Uh, so I have four wipes here. What I would probably do is if I had a bunch of credit cards, uh, I don't know if I would really have 10, uh, but of course they would fit nicely like this. It will make it a little bit thicker, but you can see it's not really thick. So there's 10 cards in here. I can probably fit these two um, gift cards. It fits nicely like that, still quite slim, but you can see it, do it does have a bit of a gap. I can probably fit these like hair ties because these are flexible, right? You can just stick it in here if you need to. Um, and I have some uh, Japanese headache medicine that sometimes I carry around. What's convenient about this, you can break this apart and just take like two. So if I take four, it can fit nicely like that. Because this one is a little bit bulky, I probably would just stick with like the elastic band and it zips very nicely, very easily like that. You can see it does make it a little bit wider, but not, you know, too much. It will still fit in bags, um, smaller bags, of course, of this size. Let's see. Um, so that's how much I can fit here. And of course, the wipes can fit in like this. I wouldn't put anything too sensitive outside because, of course, it can fall out. Doesn't look that great, but it fits, right? So probably just keep it um, minimal uh, just to have this amount. So of course, if I transfer these items here, a lot more can fit in because the blue one is a lot bigger. So let's just do the same very quickly. I'll probably just put like three wipes and stick it down so it doesn't show up. <clears throat> um, of course, oh, sorry, I should have put like some cash in here. So if I put some cash in the back, of course it can still slip very nicely. It doesn't bulk out as much, but just an option. So if I transfer these items here, um, it, can, it will still fit very nicely. Okay, that's everything. And so I can fit all the same things and more into the blue one. <clears throat> the thing is with the blue one, um, because of the width, it can technically fit like this. However, because of the zipper, I would have to sort of angle it a little bit and stick it in like this. It's not too inconvenient because it lets me see like what kind of bills I have. So, but just be aware, I would have to angle it a little bit because if I just slide it out, the zipper part here gets in the way. So the cash can go like this. I can have my credit cards all stacked like so. I can certainly fit in the headache medicine, hair tie. These items I'm pretty sure will not fit, but Let's give it a shot. I got this from a coworker from, she bought it off Etsy. It's called Pickles, Potions, and Lotions. It's a tiny, mini little lip balm. It's so cute. So if I open it like this, it opens like that. So it's perfect for tiny little handbags or even pouches like this. It will fit in very nicely. These will not fit, I'm sure of it, uh, but we can give it, give it a shot. I've used this almost to the end hence my project pan goal this year. Uh, but because of the cap, I probably wouldn't carry it like this, but 
let's give it a shot and let's see what happens. <clears throat> These items here are a little bit wider in width, so I probably can't carry it in here. But if I do this, it will zip. But you see here the cap of the, the lotion, it, it, it bulks out. I mean, if I really, really must, you can see it distorts the, the item. So I, I really wouldn't carry the, the hand lotion like that. If there are slimmer ones, those would probably be good. But that, that's what fits in here. I could probably put in these eye drops, which I find useful when I'm wearing contacts for a very long time. But again, because of the width, and I already have a bunch of credit cards in here, it does, again, distort the the, the pouch. So basically anything that is wider than like a cap of this, uh, this is a body shop hand lotion or even a lipstick or the lip balm, I wouldn't advise putting it in the pouch because it will distort it and in time the shape of the leather will, will get ruined. But it does fit like all of these things, right? It it's quite a, fits quite a bit. Um, but th this is just, just to show you like, like the maximum capacity. And I probably wouldn't do stuff, all of this stuff in here, probably like half the amount of cards here, some cash, some headache medicine, the lip balm, the wipes, and that's pretty much it. But that's just to show you. And of course, tissues would definitely fit because tissues are so uh, soft. It won't distort this too much, but again, if, if you start adding more in terms of the width, it will make this a little wider and distort the, the pouch. But you would have to know that given the profile of this item to begin with. So it's just sort of a given. Now let's go to this pouch here. This would of course fit the most. So let's just try to fit it to the max. And I wanna make sure it can still close um, a, a decent, size that doesn't look too bulky and things won't fall out or tumble out so i'm just playing like a little bit of tetris like this um i'll probably take like two wipes put it on the corner uh let's see if the cards the cards might be a problem but let's just try to pack it all in so this is everything without the rest of these things here it's still i still have some room let's say two packs of the medi headache medicine, hair tie. I probably wouldn't use this because again, it takes a little bit of width. Uh, the, the eye drops. I won't, I won't even try this. Maybe the hand lotion. Let's just try. If I do this, you can see it does, it does fit, but see it, it because of the, the bulk of the cap of the, the lotion, it does it does make the, the pouch closure stick up a little bit. I mean, it wouldn't tumble out. Let's let's just try. So if I went the opposite, it won't come out like I'm really shaking it, but you can see it's near opening. Um, so I would just be careful with things uh, <clears throat> like this with this kind of a width. So this is what can fit. Hopefully this gives you a good idea. And if you're considering this, it, will give you a better idea of what can fit. Um, of course, oh, I can pop in this little cutie here. No problem. So uh, especially if you're carrying this, there's no zipper. So you really have to be careful. We'll probably hold it like this or hold it down with your thumb like, like this when you're holding the pouch. But again, just keep in mind, you have to carry things that are a lot slimmer or thinner. So that's it for me. Hopefully this was helpful, gives you an idea of what can fit. Uh, for the for the sake of the video, let's just not ignore the rest of these items. And I'll just do this really quickly. Hand sanitizer, which I would not really put a lot in here because I'm always afraid of hand sanitizer spilling in leather goods. But since it's standing up, you know. So if I put these items like this without the rest of that, it, it's okay. Um, you can see it doesn't distort the item. And if you really must carry these things, I mean, this, this is just a lip balm from Dior and this is like a mini uh, Clinique lipstick. It can fit, but you just have to be careful of how much extra you put behind those things like cash and credit cards. So, sorry, that's it for me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.